Hello there, everybody! Welcome to a quick tutorial on how to replace music in Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga and Bowser's Minions and maybe some other 3DS games as well. I got asked to do this because I recently made a mod for the game which replaces the entire soundtrack with the Persona 3 Reload and FES soundtrack, which you can find by checking out in the description below. And this process is actually extremely easy. The first step is going to be finding the game that you wish to replace. So to do that, we are going to be taking Citra Emulator and we are going to be right-clicking the game we want to use. So for this, I'm going to be using Mario & Luigi again. And we're going to right-click and then dump ROM FS. Now this might take a little bit because you are now dumping every single one of the game's files into a folder on your computer so you can see all of the pathways and file names, which is what we are looking for. After that's done, it will open a folder automatically. So here we can see all of the internal files of Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga DX, and what we're looking for specifically for sound replacements, and this is not going to be the same for every game, you're going to want to find the sound folder, and in this case, it is SND, and then Stream, and this is all of the game's music and, I think, sound effects? So what I've been replacing so far... Oh yeah, the sound effects are all down here as well. I haven't messed with these yet. But what I've been replacing so far is basically from 01 to around around here, 49, uh, Gera Battle. This is the Cacletta Battle theme, not her main overworld theme, the Fight theme from Woohoo University. And this is the title screen theme. So between these two files, you're going to find every song that you are looking for. And quick note, the best way to find out what these songs are, aside from going off of context clues, you can download this program right here called FUBAR2000. I will link everything in the description. You can just take one of these BCSTM files and drag and drop it right in. And then double click it, you can hear exactly what the song is going to be. So let's say, for example, we want to replace the battle theme. So we are going to take, where is it? It is right here, Zacco Battle. You're going to want to right-click this, copy the exact name. You need exactly this whole thing, and remember this file extension for later, BCSTM. And we're all set with that and with Citra for now. You can open a text document, put this title in there for now if you want. But remember, you need this to be exact or else it will not work. Next up, we are going to need a song to replace the battle song with. So I went online. So I went online and found this song from Mario & Luigi Brothership, uploaded by Super Wii Bros 08. It is a version of the new trailer without a lot of the sound effects. So I downloaded downloaded that and we've got it right here, but you can see this is an mp4 and we're going to want to turn that into an mp3 because we can't put a video file into the game. For that I'm going to be opening my video editor, but you can also use an audio editor like Audacity, I just like this program more. We are going to right click, detach audio, most programs can do this very easily, and specifically for this I want to have the area where we start hearing like the battle or boss theme. So we're going to take this clip here, this is where it's going to start, and then we are going to export as an mp3 file. You can also use things online such as, you could just google something like mp4 to mp3 converter, and I was using this one, cloud convert, all you do is drag your file on here. See, Brothership, convert to mp3, convert, and we just wait for it to be done. But then you still need to edit it if you want only a certain part of the song. Now that we have our Brothership Battle mp3 file, we will now open up Looping Audio Converter 3.2. You drag your mp3 file into here, and then you're going to want to configure these settings down below according to your preferences. If you need to adjust the volume of the song, you can use these two amplification boxes. If you need to change the sample rate to reduce the file size, you can do that here. You're going to export all through loop end. And make sure this says BCSTM right here. You're going to want to ask for all files when it comes to loop options and put each pair of channels into its own file. Once we have all of that set, you can set an output folder, which for me, it will just go right to the folder of Looping Audio Converter. And and then we simply hit start. After you do that, this extra BRSTM import box will show up. Don't worry about that, but make sure you click loop. And now this is the fun part. We need to create a looping point so the song doesn't stop in game. So to do that, we need to find the place where the song is going to loop. This is not always the easiest thing to do, but most of these songs will have a looping point at some point because video game music doesn't typically play, stop, and then reset. It usually loops. So we're going to say right here might be a good place. So it's, this is going to be a lot of trial and error. And, uh, okay, so 
technically we don't have this entire song yet either, and it's not a clean rip, so it's a little bit harder to loop, but we could say just going off of tutorial purposes. This is how the song will loop. This is exactly how it will sound in game. But I think maybe it'd be better to start it here? Maybe start it there when it loops. So this means the song will start here, and then it will loop at this point. So we won't hear the intro to the song again, but we'll hear all of this stuff in the middle. So we're gonna go with that for now. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can spend as much or as little time on this as you want. Now we're gonna head over to where our output file is, and we're gonna see here, Brothership Battle Theme BCSTM. You can check the properties real quick. It is 1.50 megabytes. I don't know if there's a limit on how big these files can be. I think the only restriction is that they need to have a loop point, or else the game is gonna freak out. I cannot confirm if higher file sizes mess it up as well, but I did have a few attempts bef before the finished project where I had some 7 megabyte files and the game just ended up not liking that, but I think the loops were also incorrect, so just be careful for stuff like that. Keep it around 3 megabytes if you can. So now we're going to take this file and we are going to take the name that we just acquired from earlier, copy, rename, paste, and make sure that we are .ds padpcm.bcstm. This .bcstm is the most important part. Do not forget that. And if you can't see file name extensions like this, you're going to want to go to View, File Name Extensions. See, if you turn that off, well, I guess I can still see it because I'm just built different like that, but you're going to want that on. So now that that is correctly named, we are going to need to go back to Citra. And this is the easiest way to find this. Right click your game, open mods location. And in here, since this is the first time you'll be setting this up, you're going to want to make a ROM FS folder. Make it exactly the same spelling and case. Then SND stream. In here, it's going to be empty for you. You're going to want to drag and drop your new file and just put it in here. For here, I'm going to back up my Zacco Battle file from this pack. Delete that and drop this one in. And now the fun part is testing. As you can hear, I already have music working in the background there, but we want to hear the battle theme. So we head over to this little Anubis. Well, I didn't know that they were, like, in love with electricity, but you can hear the song going in the background. It is a little bit quiet. I I'm not a huge fan of balancing audio. It's, like, a tough thing for me because my ears aren't too good. But using the automatic loop converter, you can change the audio before it goes into the game to make it louder if you like, or you can edit it yourself in your editing program to make it louder. And as you can hear, the loop just happened there. It's not the best loop, of course, but that's basically how you add music to Superstar Saga DX. Technically, if we were to do the same thing with another game, but here again, we can see Kirby, we have SND, Stream, and a whole bunch of songs. So as far as I'm aware, this is going to work on many 3DS games, as long as you can find these BCSTM files. But I think that's all I have to show you for today. So if you like this and you want to make some mods, go ahead and do so, and please have fun with it. Also, I am working on an HD texture pack for Superstar Saga, and that I will be uploading about very soon. I think that's coming out very nicely, and I'm really excited to show it to you. But thanks so much for the interest in these projects, and I will see you all next time.